Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy Pokemon 12 back in another YouTube video for you guys on your channel. In today's video, you're gonna be checking out the Tuesday 29th of November 7 p.m. content. So for the do, I do suggest that we get right into this video. If you guys want cheap and reliable, fast ultimate team coins, then make sure you guys check out MMOXP. Their link will be in the description. Make sure you guys use code Pokey12 for 5% off. Right then guys, welcome back to the video and let's have a look what EA released today. Mateo Kovacic and Leandro Trossard showdown SBC. We're going to look at Trossard's card first because he's the one who intrigues me most. Because obviously my family's from down in Brighton in England, so obviously we have to pay respect to, to Brighton. So, let's have a look at his card. 88 pace, 87 dribbling, 84 shooting, 37 defending, 83 passing, 75 and 85 overall. High medium work rates, 4 star, 4 star. Can not only play left mid, but also cam strike and left wing, which is very interesting. 96 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, that's nuts. 98 agility, 91 balance, very good. 87 dribbling, 88 composure, 84 finishing, 84 stamina, 88 jumping with 80 head heading accuracy. Flare, long passer, long shot taker, outside foot shot, a technical dribbler. Very, very good card. Let's have a quick look at the two segments you have to do to complete him, and then we'll do the same for Kovacic in a minute. Right, so the first one is Belgian player minimum one and 83 overall for a premium gold pack, and the second one is a Premier League player minimum one, team of the week minimum one and 84 overall. I mean, it's still a top SPC because e either one of these cards, even though we haven't looked at Kovacic yet, either one of these cards is going to get an upgrade, but um, yeah, I mean, it is quite pricey at the same time because you need the inform. And it forms a skyrocketed lately. But um, yeah, based on that one, definitely a top SPC. I reckon it's going to come in at around, what, an 83, 84, probably around 30k, 30, 40k. I think it's a bit overpriced for this card. Let me know what you guys think this card price would be on the market if it was to be released on the market. But yeah, let's have a look at Kovacic right now. So, Mateo Kovacic, also 85 rated, 78 pace, 89 dribbling, 77 shooting, 76 defending, 8 ball passing, and 76 fizz. High, high work rates, 4 star, 4 star as well. Very good card off the face stats of that card as well. He can only play centre mid, so he hasn't got any, like, alternative positions. 86 acceleration, 72 sprint speed. I like the fact that he's got high acceleration over his spin speed. 87 agility, 85 balance for a card like him is very, very good. I was expecting the agility and balance to be a bit lower than that, but that's, that's still very good. Short pass 91, long pass 85, which is very good, which is what, which is what you want for your centre mids anyway. Finishing 68, I don't actually mind that too much because I'd probably use him as a holding midfielder rather than, or like a box to box, rather than like a, a cam who goes forward and connects plays and actually tries to get a shot off. But I like the fact they've upped his long shot to 84, I quite like that. Ball control at 90, 85 composure, 85 stam. Again, in games look okay. I would say that Trossard looks better. But this card with the plus two upgrade uh, would, would be quite nuts. Obviously, the traits are flair, playmaker, and technical dribbler. So let's have a look at his segments and see which one's more worth it. So top form, team of the week win one, 82 overall. So they've lowered the min rating on the first one, but they've upped the requirement with the team of the week. I mean, for two regular players pack, an 82 overall is, is quite cheap. I'd, I'd actually say most of you guys would have that in the club <laughs> by now with all the uh, fodder packs and stuff. Second one is a Premier League player in one and a team rating of 84 for a gold players pack. If anything, coverage is more worth it. He's more affordable. I'd say he's about 25k. If the, in that case, then probably Trossard's close to 40 and he's around 25, 30. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, if you could do both, I've been doing both of these lately just to, just to be in the chance of getting an upgrade to one of them. Either of them are very, very good. They're both top SBC, so make sure you get that done if you guys want to. So with that being said, let me know which one of these showdown cards you guys are going to get are going to be opting for like i said for me i want to try and do both mainly because i just want to be in the chance of actually getting the upgrade to one of the cards and the other card i could just use further down the line as fodder but yeah i think like i said both are good both are decent price wise let me know in the comments like honestly let me know what your what your thoughts are on this but with that being said this has been world Pokemon 12 and i'll see you guys on the next one very very soon bye